All right, guys. So this is going to be a full guide on how to farm with Meso, Neo, and Axie relics. Now, there's multiple missions that you can run that will actually give you most of these relics, but I'm just going to show you the missions that I like to run that are pretty fast that will give you any one of those relics. So the first relic we're going after are the Lith relics. Now, I think the best possible mission you can run to get Lith relics is over here in the Void. You want to be running Hepit. Now, it's a capture mission. You can finish it really quick. I can usually complete it within 30 seconds or less using Gauss, Titania, Wukong, Volt. Now, you can see the mission is pretty straightforward. Go and capture your target and then extract, and then you've got yourself a Lith relic. Now, with the drop table down there, you can see that all the possible rewards are Lith relics with a small chance, well, the same chance of getting some Aya as well. Now with each of these missions, I'll go ahead and throw up the chart from the actual Warframe drop table site and I'll have the link to the drop table site in my description for you guys if you want to check it out yourself. Alright, the next relic will be Meso Relics. Now there's a couple different missions I'll show you. There's tons of missions that'll give you Meso Relics, but the missions I like to run, I'll just show you two of those. First one we'll talk about is the mission over here on Jupiter. It's a defense mission called IO. Now like I said, it is a defense mission. It's gonna take you a little bit longer to complete, but on rotation A, it'll have the option to drop any of those Meso relics that I'm showing down there in the drop table. Now you can stay longer to rotation B or rotation C, but you're not gonna get any more Meso relics and you have a mixed chance of getting Neo relics after that. Now if you don't wanna run a mission on Jupiter, we can go over to Saturn and we can run the defense mission Hayleen. <laughs> I'm the one in the crowd pot now. Now I am using Protea, so I can just spam my abilities and kill everybody as fast as possible. But you can see down there that this is another place that you can get Meso Relics. Now just like I said on the last mission, Rotation A is going to be the one that drops the Meso Relics for you. But B and C, you're welcome to stay, but it's going to drop a bunch of other junk that you might want or you might not want. So now we've covered Lith Relics, Meso Relics, now let's go after those Neos. Now for this mission, we're going to go all the way back to the void and we're going to run the mission Mithra. Now it's an interception mission. I know it's a pain in the ass, but this mission's actually really good for Neo Relics. Now you can see in this mission we completed round one and we got a Neo Relic. Now we're going to go ahead and go to round two. All right, so we just completed round two and we've got another Neo Relic. Now you can go ahead and do round three, or whatever, and then you'll get Axie Relics after that. But if you're just after Neos, just do the first two, extract and repeat. Now I'm gonna show you a mission that will give you a 50-50 chance of getting a Meso or a Neo Relic. And of course, there's a possibility of getting Aya in there as well. Every Relic mission has a chance of grabbing Aya from it. Now that mission is also over here in Void. It's going to be the mission Uko. It's another capture mission. You can finish it pretty quickly unless the Lotus decides to do that thing where she's like, So it's like two missions in one. Anyways, you get the point, run this mission. You got 50-50 chance of getting a Meso or a Neo Relic. Now our last Relic that we're going after are the Axie Relics. Now I think the best place to actually get those is over here on Lua, and you want to run the mission Apollo. So you guys probably already know how disruption missions work, but you want to kill the big guys, you want to take the keys, put it in the pylon, and protect the pylon from the Demolist. Now the way this is going to work, you want to make sure you protect all four pylons on the first round. That's going to give you a rotation B drop that will give you nothing but Axie Relics. Now in the second round, you want to protect at least three of the four pylons to still get the rotation B drop, which is still Axie Relics. Now in the third round, if you protect nothing but two pylons, you'll still get a rotation B drop, which is still nothing but Axie Relics. Or you can protect all four of them and get yourself a rotation C drop. Now the rotation C drop will give you Axie Relics with the chance of getting a Lua Lens Blueprint or a Universal Medallion. Now there's only an 8% chance of getting a Lua Lens Blueprint and there's a 5% chance of getting the Medallion. And the rest are Axie Relics. Now from your third round on, I always recommend going for the Seed Drop because waiting for those Demolists to come and blow up your pylons, it's, it takes a lot longer than it does hunting down the actual Demolist. So that's what I usually recommend. You can see here on the end screen, I got a total of four Axie Relics here. That's not too bad. Now, those are just a few places that I recommend farming relics for. So if you want to find a Lith, Meso, Neo, or Axie, I recommend those missions usually to grab any of those relics. 
and you need help with Kuva Liches or Parvo Sisters, I've got a video that's going to pop up on the screen for you. Go ahead and click on that and watch that. See if that'll help you out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video or stream.